Disney Studios, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup Playoffs. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to start. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey. We're in Atlanta, also known as Hotlanta at times. Rich Beam, it's a pretty hot start here at Eastlake, isn't it? Yes. Par 5 for the members, par 4 this week for the Tour players from the backs, 445. This fairway tilts from left to right ever so slightly, and the green tilts from back to front. Any tee shots missed out to the right in the nasty rough in the trees almost guarantees you a five. You find the fairway down the left-hand side. Now you need to avoid the bunker back left and front right. Anything long on this green or over the green is absolutely no good. That's where fives and six are made quite easily. Leave your second shot below the hole is a must. You don't want a downhill birdie putt on this green because that could easily lead to a bogey. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? The opening hole, Rich, at East Lake is not an easy one, is it? It is not. Second shot plays straight back up the hill, a green that tilts from back to front. Two bunkers on the opening of this green, right and left, pose all sorts of problems. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. 20 feet to the cup. Oh, just missed. And this one is for his par. That was a gallant attempt. His next putt is for bogey. OK, let's head to the next. Minus two, going along nicely today. Starting off with the bogey at first, not tragic. You got a lot of holes to make it up. Let's see how they deal with it going forward. Opting for the five wood. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. But not a bad approach. He'll be punting. Let's take a look at JT just a little while ago. This was his second. And back to the course with the live action. This putt coming up is for birdie. Was on a good line. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Absolutely tattooed that one. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Six feet remaining to the cup. Yeah. Well, well holds. He'll take the birdie. He's currently in the second position. 
you've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Looks like they've got the five wood. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Birdie at the last. This for another. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Just three feet to the cup. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, guys, I'm down here on the sixth. This is Billy Porsche. Playing their fifth shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. This hole here is a par four. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Woo, back there, horsey. Yeah, well played. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down here on the sixth hole, this is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. Four bogeys on the bounce will hurt any scorecard. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. Looking better. Well hold. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. The sixth hole at uh, East Lake Rich, one to get after. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill. So a little length helps. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Okay, so that's step one. But now going to hold a mid-range putt. Good look at a birdie here. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by a couple after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Luke, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. Going with the six iron here. Outstanding approach shot. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. And that should secure the par. Well done. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? I am down on the ninth hole, guys. This is Billy Horschel's next one. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. You've arrived at a par four. Not a bad line, this one. Setting up in the bunker here. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Second shot here on the eighth.
opting for the six iron. This one's going right at the pin here. Left yourself an opportunity. 13 feet to the cup. Oh, so close. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Still in the lead now after that hole. We find ourselves on a par three here. Four right. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. All right, safely out of the bunker and now a chance to make a putt. Big par saver coming up for this fella. If it's up, it could be in. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Well, I like the look of the line here. They should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 10th. So I might need to sit. That's just inside the range. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. This one looking really good. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. And let's take a look at this shot from moments ago. An absolute beauty by Billy Horschel. Watch this. Let's get back to it, shall we? John, have you got a read on this one? Well, it looks like about 23 feet from here. Just didn't drop. Three feet to go here to the hole. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by three strokes now. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to six under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Hope you're enjoying our continuing coverage. Let's head out to the 14th hole. And here we are with the third shot. OK, let's get back to the action. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. 
Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And now minus seven for the round. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? And from here, they're looking at about a 28-foot putt. Ouch, that hurts. Just a four-footer remaining. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And now that finds him in first place. off here at the 15th hole. Nicely done. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Okay, steady now. It's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. And man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? I'm down here on the 17th, guys. This is Billy Horschel's next shot. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. That should find the fairway. Well, there's been some FedEx Cup champions won and lost around this part of the course. This is the site of probably one of the greatest finishes in FedEx Championship history. The winner holding his second shot here to claim victory. Good shot there. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Setting up here with a very long putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And just about eight feet left to the hole. Nice stroke. Well done. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. And as we get to the penultimate hole at Eastlake, Rich, what does it require? The tee has been moved back some 60 yards over the last couple of years, putting a premium on finding the fairway. Those bunkers down the left-hand side are menacing, to say the least. This shot is about 140 yards out. Yeah, that one's looking good. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green and reg here. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And after a recent switch of the nines here at Eastlake, the finishing hole's gone from a tough par three, Rich, to a really gettable five. Go ahead and take out the driver and enjoy this tee shot. It might be difficult, but if you hit it in the fairway, you'll definitely be rewarded by being able to go for it in two. Interesting choice of the driver here. You need any inspiration, 
Bob Tway once holed out of the bunker to win a major. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Just a fantastic shot. Guaranteed birdie hitting it that close. Ooh. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Well, there you have it, Reg. A season-long worth of excellence celebrated with the FedEx Cup. Oh, what a feeling it must be as well. To just have all the hard work and everything that they've prepared for and done this year comes down to one tournament. They get it done. They win the FedEx Cup. I mean, what a sense of relief on the player's face right there. And it just has to be an amazing feeling all around. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.